Hello. So, how do you convert carats to ounces? Um, it's a little more complicated than you would think. It's not like going um, feet to meters or meters to feet. It, but let me get started, okay? We're wasting time. So we're gonna start out with the avatrepois system. Now, carats are one-fifth of a gram. So um, there are five carats in a gram, and you, you may know, you may or may not know that there are 28.3 grams in an ounce. So you multiply them together, you get 141.5 carats per ounces. Carrots are really small. I mean, think about it. There's over 100 carats in a single ounce. So you take your, so to do it, you take your number of ounces, you multiply by 141.5, and that equals the numbers of carats. Both those are lower key, the case is CT. Now, this is actually not how you do it. This is completely mathematically correct. You multiply the number of ounces by 141.5 to get the number of carats. To go the other way, take the number of carats divided by 141.5 to get the number of ounces. Um, this is not correct, and here's why. These are your standard ounces that you use at the grocery store. Um, these are the, um, you know, if you buy, buy a bag of potato chips, you know, it says, th you know, one ounce of potato chips, which is a very small bag, and that's going to be 28.3 grams. These are the ounces you use for just about everything you use in real life. These are what they call avoir de poids ounces. But for the kinds of things you measure in carats, those are expensive things, precious metals and gems and stuff like that. And the ounces that they use for those are troy ounces, which come from France. And just to make things, you know, come on, guys, let's just go to the metric system. It's the same everywhere in the world. And just to make things more confusing, troy ounces are, fr are the French ones, and the avoir du poids are the British ones. Switch to metric. But until you do, I'm going to show you how to get by using this crazy system, okay? So, now, a met a, an avoir, a avoir du poids ounce is 28.3 grams. A troy ounce is a little bit bigger. It is 31.1 um, grams. So five carats in a gram, 31.1 grams in a troy ounce, and that gives you 155. It's hard to write when you're way the heck over here. I don't write very well anyway. Okay, so 155.5, so, fix that. So, the number of ounces, the number of troy ounces, times the 1.5, 155.5 is gonna give you the number of carats. And to go the other way, the number of carats, you just do it backwards, divided by 155. Point five is equal to the number of ounces. Uh, remember, if you're starting out with something small and converting to a big unit, you're going to have less of them because they're bigger. You take, you need less of them to make the same size. So if you are going from a small unit like a carrot to ounces, and you end up with a bigger number, you've done it backwards. Easy enough. Just you know, use common sense. Now, by the way. This is troy ounces. This is your standard average poids potato chip ounces. Well, what if it doesn't say it's troy ounces? Does that mean it's average poids? No. Any kind of precious metals, any kind of gems are going to be in troy ounces, even if they don't say they're in troy ounces. This is just standard practice. When somebody talks about an ounce of gold, they're talking about a troy ounce. And if you, you know, and if you're not sure, ask. Um, somebody might try to sell you an Abba de Poire ounce at a discount, you know, and you say, oh, well, this is much less than their asking price. It should be listed in troy ounces. It should almost always be listed. So unless somebody's trying to scam you and sell you something smaller, your gold will be measured in troy ounces. So there you go.
Number of ounces times 155.5 is the number of carats. Number of carats divided by 155.5 is the number of ounces. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Have a nice day. Sorry I'm a little rusty. Bye-bye.